everybody and welcome back to my channel and for those of you that may be new here welcome today I'll be bringing you along with me as I make a lindemann ginger turmeric tonic and I'll be making dinner for my family I'll be doing a quick one pan meal so let's get started so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start with making this energy booster uh, basically, it is made of, of ginger, lemon, turmeric, and apple. I use the apple to try and cut some of the taste of the ginger, but because it is so potent, it's really hard to do. There's nothing really out there that's going to cut the taste of that ginger and make it easier to go down. But since they are going to be energy shots, it's only about one and a half ounces of the liquid at one time and it's not a lot to take so it's quick easy and simple just basically shoot it or you can mix it in eight ounces of warm water that will definitely help dilute the taste sometimes i usually prefer just to take it and be done with it other times i may even add some honey and kind of savor it that is normally rare but it can be done so to start off making this tonic all you have to do is cut the skin off of the lemons and wash your ginger and your apples pretty much cut them into pieces that can fit into a juicer and you can just toss them in and pretty much you will have your tonic set and ready to go within minutes once everything is juiced you can store it up to five days in the refrigerator in a container of your choice and you will have it when you need it. I would suggest taking it at least once a day, preferably in the morning when you first wake up, which will give you an energy boost for those early mornings. The lemon ginger tonic will also help with digestion. It can help with weight loss, cardiovascular health, improved immunity, as well as pain relief. So if you suffer from any of those elements or you just want an energy boost in your mornings, afternoons, or evenings, then I would definitely suggest either buying or making a ginger lemon tonic. Now that I have finished making the lemon, ginger, turmeric, and apple tonic and taken it, I'm going to go ahead and jump into making dinner. So for tonight's dinner, this recipe is called Everything Bagel, Salmon, and Roasted Vegetables. This recipe is a one pan sheet meal. It includes potatoes, broccoli, and salmon all cooked on one pan in the oven. So to get started, I'm going to start with my potatoes, get those cut up into about one to one and a half inch pieces. 
get them seasoned and ready to go in the oven because according to this recipe they do need to be the first thing to cook for 10 minutes by themselves so I'm going to go ahead and get those done and cooking and from there I can start to prep the broccoli and the salmon and for those of you that are interested in trying this recipe I will make sure to link it down below in the description box for you it is quick it is easy, it is simple, it is definitely something I would recommend if you've had a busy day and you're just trying to find something quick and easy to throw together for the kids for dinner. This recipe from prep to cook it takes about 30 to 35 minutes depending on your oven and how quickly you get everything put together. It's pretty fast and simple as I said, so it's definitely one of those recipes that I like to keep on hand. Although the, the recipe has specific um, ingredients listed, such as rosemary, broccoli, salmon, etc., these types of recipes can be interchanged. For example, I have done a one-sheet recipe like this, but with sweet potatoes instead of regular potatoes. So it is not a recipe that you have to stick to. You can interchange things, seasonings, if you prefer a certain seasoning over another. You can use that instead. This is a everything bagel um, recipe, so obviously the seasonings for that, the main one anyways, is going to be the everything bagel. I have not actually tried this recipe before, nor have I tried the everything bagel seasoning on vegetables or salmon, but I won't know until I try it if I like it and if the kids like it. Abstract. Yeah, it's complicated What you say, the way you act Well, it makes me so confused I don't know what to do everything prepped and ready to go in the oven I'm just gonna go ahead and get things straightened and cleaned up so I don't have a lot of mess piled up on me when dinner is done once the 10 minutes is up for the potatoes I will go ahead and get those taken out of the oven put the broccoli and the salmon on the pan and let that cook for an additional 20 minutes at least that's what it said according to the recipe now come to find out later on, once those 20 minutes were up and I pulled the food out of the oven, I did notice that the potatoes were not as flavorful as I would have liked and they were harder than they should have been. So I did add some additional seasoning and I allowed it to cook for another 10 minutes and that pretty much did the trick. The texture or that I was going for on the potatoes were more of a home style a breakfast potato kind of feel I didn't want them super hard but nor did I want them super soft so with that additional 10 minutes in the oven which brought the total time to 30 minutes in the oven everything was the right texture and tasted great and I am happy to report that this meal was a success the kids did enjoy it and so did I 
And that pretty much concludes this cook with me. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me today. And I hope that if you do try this recipe, that you will enjoy it as much as I plan to. Please make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.